legacy hunter. We are the backbone of America. We are not afraid of getting our hands a little dirty. We work hard with what we have. We are where scripture takes action. We are average Joes. And your land and our land are the hunting grounds. The Hunting Grounds is brought to you by SJF Productions, Arkansas Customs, Eagle Seed, Golden's Gun Engraving, Shea Bug Design, Hook, Line, and Sinker Outdoors, Popeyes of Northwest Arkansas. Well, welcome back to the Hunting Grounds as we kick off season two. As you guys know, we took about a month off in between season one and season two to collect video footage so we can bring you guys some killer episodes. During this hunting season, we're primarily gonna focus on the hunts, but we're still gonna bring you management tips and how we're setting up those hunts. Now, on this first hunt, we're going with Austin and we're setting up on about 30 acres. It's more of an urban area. There's a lot of subdivisions and houses around. The deer are completely out of control on this piece of property. There's a lot of does, there's some nice bucks, and what we're doing, we're sitting on this ridge trying to intersect them as they're going down to the fields to feed at night. Let's see what happens. Well, here in Arkansas, we started archery season September 15th this year. Austin and I have been putting a lot of time in the stand. And on this particular piece of property, has a lot of immature trees. So the tree that we had to put our stand in is like the grandmother of all oak trees. Well, the tree that me and Steve picked out only took two ratchet straps to get around it, but it provided a bunch of cover. camera light really fast. We both couldn't line up on the deer at the same time. Didn't know if Austin was going to be able to pull it off. Had a doe come back in and it looks like it might happen. Well me and Steve been in the stand for a pretty long while and it's starting to get dark on us. And right at the last second we had some does coming in. And we didn't think they were going to come all the way in. We thought our chances were blown but one stepped back out and gave me an opportunity and of course I took it. Whatever you're in. Dude, 
Well, I thumped my dough and through all the excitement, me and Steve didn't even know this. There's another dough in bow range. So me and Steve tried to swap all the cameras and stuff. And she's sitting there watching us. I don't know why she didn't run. But we got the camera swapped and we couldn't get it together in time. And she finally just blew out. Maybe next time me and Steve will get a double on film. Well, we had a few, we had a few does come in and uh, they kind of spooked on us. And one come around and we pulled off a shot at her. So we just got down to the tree. So we're about to go recover her. Yeah. Yes, she is. And she didn't go far, did she? Nope. Well, we found her. She maybe ran about 10 yards, maybe. Yeah, she didn't make it far, as you guys could tell in the video. Had a lot of does underneath us. Uh, we were scrambling in the stand, doing some switching around and stuff. We're in a massive oak tree there, and they were just filtering through, trying to hit these fields down in the bottom. Uh, after Austin took this shot, we heard her crash. She didn't go very far, and we had a big mature doe step back out in front of us and so I tried to pick up the bow kind of rushed it and knocked the arrow a little bit there and made a little bit of noise so she got out of there almost had a double but this is definitely our first kill this season I'm pretty excited yeah me too about it so we've been hard at it for this past couple weeks yeah and um, you know passed up on a couple of opportunities but got a lot of footage on these does and so we're gonna get back out maybe tomorrow and see if we can make something else happen so some good doe management tonight. Oh, there you go. Sweet. On this second hunt, we're going out with Steve to the 30 acres to try his luck. Now the oak trees are producing a pretty good mass crop even though we had the worst drought on record this year. If you can find the right acorn tree, you're going to find the deer. And so probably these next few episodes, you guys will see us in the woods a lot trying to intersect them deer. We're back out on that piece of property where Austin harvested his doe a few nights before. It's in the morning this time, and I'm the one that's going to be able to fling the first arrow, so I'm hoping something comes up. We're bringing in some new camera angles to our episodes this year as we're playing around with one of the GoPros, we're putting it down on the ground, we can wirelessly turn it on, and we're trying to get some of those pass-through shots to give you guys a different perspective, like you're looking through a window and watching your hunt right there with us. Well that creates some challenges for us because we got to know the deer well enough where they're going to come in and we can get them on the GoPro and hopefully harvest them on the GoPro. So we had this doe come in, she worked her way in real slow, had a fawn appear out of nowhere, you could tell that they weren't in any way tied together there. And so it was just a matter of a waiting game to see if we could get her a clear shot and get her on the GoPro. They're moseying around and we're just waiting for that perfect shot. Well that shot dropped her right in her tracks, it would have finished her off, but we went ahead and put another shot on her just to make an ethical kill.
All right, so we're out here. Found her. Obviously, she wasn't very far. She pretty much dropped where we shot her. So uh, another successful morning, and we're just pleased with it. Had a lot of does still come in after she came in. We decided to stick around the stand uh, just to see if a buck would come in. It's one of those cold mornings. They just like to move during that time. We're going to be back out this evening, and now we have big bucks on the agenda, so we'll see if we can get one. But also dragging this one out. I dragged his out of here last time <laughs> from about the same location, except mine only went a step and yours went 10 steps. <laughs> so, but we'll fun. get her out. Yeah, we'll make him have to work for this one. It's a little bit bigger. This one? No, it ain't. It's a little the bit. Same size. <laughs> I think she's a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, because you shot it. It's going to be a little bigger. She's going to feel bigger when you're dragging her. She didn't feel bad. Trust me, I got died last time. You, he's already asked for help. He's not getting help. Hey, you volunteered to drag. Good job. You volunteered to drag mine. You, I'm not volunteering for crap. <laughs> well, it's still early season. Austin and I are putting a lot of time in the stand. We're having a whole lot of fun, which that's all that matters. We're hoping to get some big bucks for you on film for too long. And we'll just have to see what happens. Hope y'all guys enjoyed the first episode of season two and do us a favor by following us on Twitter at THGTV. And guys, be sure to check us out on Facebook as The Hunting Grounds. Until next time, go out of your way, get a youth or a new hunter involved in the outdoors, and as always, have a better than average day. Music for The Hunting Grounds is provided by Brian Matthew Ellis. I don't know what kind of aim, that's kind of aimed at it. <laughs> Say hi. Hey. Yeah, I love how goofy you look at now. <laughs> Hi. Boston and I. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. We heard a crash. That sounded kind of weird, didn't it? We heard it. That was weird. It's just pretty in corner. It's just what she's saying. She is pretty in corner. <laughs> Shut up. Yes, so we can go hunting. We're gonna go kill us a buck tonight. Or a dove. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Wind's perfect. Hope y'all guys enjoyed the first episode of season two. And by the way, and and do us a favor. Ready? Wait for Lena. Make sure you can't see the mic, dude. Can we? No, no, you can't.